thought I would um, get my picture. I had this weird ass dream last night. I was like talking to myself in my sleep when I wake up. It had uh, once again everything to do with making a comeback with acting. Uh, I met some people and they were doing like some film. Uh, I can't remember how it was being done, but I kept on venturing back and forward and then, you know, trying to say to people I knew that I had been in sort of a movie later. Oh no, I think I'd been like, uh, it, it had been a gossip. And then I had to explain why I was doing movies again or something or other like that. Anyway. And, and then it had the subject of aliens and then I woke up and you know, I was sort of boycotting like I'm not like an alien or something. <laughs> uh, maybe you are. Um, and then uh, and I, then I woke up and then I couldn't get back to sleep and I was like oh what a weird dream. Like it had something to do with aliens at the end and I was like pretty freaked out and then I realized it was 5.45 I got to turn the heater on and sleep in for 15 minutes and then I had to sort of get everything prepared um, so that I uh, so that I um, oh what am I trying to say um, everything prepared so that I can uh, go out today <laughs> I'm not even sure what I'm saying but ever since I wake up I feel like you know I have a little like thought in my head like oh it's, it's either something in the house that might be like alienish because th things do shake sometimes and then it's like oh maybe it's me and maybe I got a little bit of a weird ass gene I mean I've done weird ass things with my life and I thought weird ass things were cool and it was like oh maybe there's something floating around but uh I was like I don't know <laughs> I was like what a weird ass dream but I'm going on a one and a half hour bu bus trip and I'm gonna end up at the Gold Coast so go bus go in an hour in the train basically basically 40 minutes on train to get to the city probably have lunch in the city like a subway and uh then mosey on down to the gold coast um a subway sounds good either a subway or a suspension or cut roll subway sounds better though nice warm subway six inch either that or spinach and ricotta roll from 7-Eleven or something. <laughs> I don't necessarily eat at the Gold Coast, um, the theme parks that I'm going to first. But I might. I just don't like their food. It tastes like, you know, and when you buy stuff, people say, oh, it's got pee in it. And you're like going, oh, okay. <laughs> so, you know, you don't know if they're some of the basing has urine or what but that's what they say and they used to serve like sausages and the guy used to drool all, all over the sausages and I'm not adventurous to find out whether or not that's some sort of awesome drool that keeps you like super young or something <laughs> or super healthy or whether it's just like disgusting drool but they used to I think they cleaned up their act a bit because you know everyone started to find it disgusting but I you should like be like, I'm not eating sausages from there because um, they have vegetarian sausages too. And I'm like, I'm not eating anything from there because the guy drools on the food. And you're like going, what is that all about? I said, maybe the food does have pee in it. I don't know. But just it just doesn't make me feel good. Like sometimes I eat something and I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Um, I might buy a buy a. a a um, thing of candy floss though. I usually do buy a little bucket of it. But I was going to get batteries from my um, Walkman so 
I'm slowly walking to the store. Unless I don't need to go to the loo. Because despite having had gone before I left home, I sort of feel like... But I was just like, wouldn't that be terrible if you had like a gene in your in your b mind or body, you know, that can turn you into like an alien? It's like, I felt something wiggle this morning and I was like, better not. Better not, I've already... I've already got like these weird features that people, when I'm not overweight, people like say, oh, you look a little weird. And I'm like, you, I'm always like, yeah, it's a mixture of short and long features, and bone structures. <laughs> and it's like, all I, all I need is like some sort of gene to, ter to morph me into some sort of alien. And then people like, I knew it. You had those really freaky looks all along. I never said. I'm like, that would be like the worst thing in the world, I think, if you're stuck with suddenly alien-esque looks because of some stupid gene. <laughs> a slight gene, genetic link that felt like making an impression of all of a sudden. So I was like, oh, better not. But I've been so worried about that this morning because the dream was sort of weird. And then I felt something wriggle and I was like, I was like oh, better not. I have rig wriggling jeans sometimes. <laughs> and you're like, you're better not. Either that or better be super attractive. <laughs> and not like these weird ass images that you see in the media. <laughs> if I turned super attractive, what can I say? Uh, I think I would turn into a weird ass looking person. And I'm like, better not. Better not. But. Hopefully I won't turn into anything weird as a result of that dream. But my dog's already missing. It didn't take... It took two minutes for the dog to be missing. <laughs> so I spent a few more... I spent five minutes collecting their bedding and, and their other bowl. And then I was like... And then the dog was missing and I was like, oh... I'm sure she's around somewhere, but she had a lead on her. Like, so she's not just scrabbling around, so if she gets stuck, she'll be like worried. It, 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 would, it would be a worried occurrence. I don't know what kind of food was given to the neighbor, but I just added a couple of them. Um, Chicken nuts on top. So we'll be back, back tomorrow afternoon later. So we're just staying a day. And then next week it's like I have to tell the other person though. It's like um I did buy my plane trip tickets, so I better get on that plane. It may be a maker or a breaker for me. That sometimes I'm on planes and I'm like, I wish I hadn't gone on this plane. I'm claustrophobic. You're high in the sky. If you have any issues, you can't get off the plane. <laughs> the only release is the bathroom. And then you're like, I, I, I didn't like admire planes. I just thought I'd get into traveling a little bit more. <laughs> And I like, I don't really want to see my relatives, but I just thought I'd be into visiting hotels a little bit more, so I don't really know what's come over me other than the fact that if I ever am moving, um, needing to move to and fro, I'll be like, yes, I know how to do this and know how to do that. I already know my, my precautions take water. Uh, if I want to buy a little air mask, I can. And, uh, always cough lollies. Then if I get a sporadic cough that comes out of nowhere, I'd be like, I can treat that. I've got cough lollies. <laughs>